Hello my friends, how are you? So let's have a quick look at this German tank hunter, this one by Masterbox. Now we're going to need a tank to go with it, so out of the uh, back of the drawer I pulled out this Mini Art T70 and I gave it a bit of a camouflage pattern. It's a crazy camouflage pattern. And I, uh, I put a hole in it, so we've got a, a hole for him to point at you need that um, but yeah if you ever get this mini art t70 don't think you're gonna be getting this you know this is mini art and it's amazing absolute amazing stuff and this is mini art as well absolutely amazing crisp beautiful tank you know you got your transmission there absolutely wonderful tank beautiful stuff but then you've got this and it's horrible it's probably the worst model I've ever built it's very odd and it really caught me by surprise because as you know um, I would have assumed that everything by Mini Art is good but obviously their older stuff wasn't that great but anyway, I thought I'd use it for this. Yeah, because I bought this one a while ago um, as I'm collecting Master Box. And it only cost $12. That's why I grabbed it and I thought, oh cool. Um, it's a cool little scene. You get three little figures. And um, it's an older one, of course. That's why it's so cheap. Uh, then you get the little pictures here when they've got their nasty little heads mean looking buggers there they've drawn they don't look that crazy in the actual thing and then you've got you know your, your guide to see what you've got in there and you've got your usual master box camo patterns let's have a look at this sprue um, maybe we maybe we move the box have a look at just on the, the on the white here all right so we've got the first character here now you can have so you've got the panzer shrek and then you've got the back thing there so that's not that great but the panzer shrek seems okay be good to get one of those mini art sets wouldn't it uh, you can have a cap to go with him we've got some ammo it's a pretty nice torso pretty detailed you know he's got his smart ass look on and then he's got his hands his one pointing and this other one holding his panda shrek the uh, feet look very nice in proportion. And then we move over to the next guy. This is the guy that's bending over. So beautiful feet as usual you get. And then nice little legs as well. And then you've got three helmets. You've got a cap. So every, op every guy has the option of a cap or a helmet. And he's just got a normal uniform on as well, which is pretty good. There's, it's got some good depth there. Uh, the rifle, just a small one they put in and, and a couple of accessories. And then we've got the guy that's holding the Panzer Faust. not a bad toy. It's got a pretty standard look on his face. Where's his hand? Oh, it'd be in his pocket right there. So that's basically it. It's just, for $12, it's a really good value little sprue. And 
get rid of this little thing. Use this. The camo pattern was an experiment. It's, it's all right though. See how we go. So we've got that's 7K, that's 6K, and that's light khaki. Odd colors that they had in the Russian army in World War II. Most of the tanks were just painted like that. So. But sometimes they would paint them in camouflage. Alright guys, I'll speak to you again soon. See ya.